throw for Cousins. Crowder's got it over the middle. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And off comes to Peterson. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. It's almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage. And here comes play number six on this drive. And the Dolphins beef up the secondary here as they look to stop him on third down. Throwing his cousins. Out to the left, it's complete to Dankson. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And the offense lining up first and ten. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now Thompson. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. remaining now on second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Play clock hits zero here, and we're going to get a delay. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now they'll run it on the toss. 
And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Back now in Miami. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. And the seemingly endless drive continues. Hey, 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 hey. Go down, go down, go down. Now let's go. 319. 319. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. Pressure up the middle and down he goes. And Dominican Sue. Breaking throw to get him for a loss of seven. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep the, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach Let's will. Go. Green 39! Green 39! All right, now, look at 56! Look at 56! Third and long for Cousins. He's going to air one out. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game, and I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they missed a golden opportunity. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Three. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Here we go. Brad, 38. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Going deep here for Stills. He's got a man complete. A big play there for the Dolphins. 37 yards. Well, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to force it into his receiver, Landry, and it's second down. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just dropped to a point and reacted to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. Now that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. And yeah, they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. Oh, 
Again, he'll drop to throw. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Redskins. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Cousins on first down. And Reed with it over the middle. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. down. Here's Cousins. On the catch, it's Crowder. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 14 there, and the Redskins are going to get a first down. They'll come out in the pistol. On first and ten, Cousins. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And he's brought down. 15 yards through the air and a first down. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Cousins now on second down. Out to the right here to Wilson. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. On third down, Cousins. It's brought in by Dachson. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Now the Dolphins are going to take another timeout here. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. <laughs> 